Good morning! I look like a little bit of a wild person. I forgot some things <laughs> when I packed, but today is our marriage prep weekend. We started last night. We drove um, to the retreat house called Cedar Break, and it is so beautiful. It's really charming, and I feel like the rooms are so nice. I feel very blessed because I was a little worried it was going to be like a bunk room or like a room with a lot of people, but I get my very own room with my very own bathroom. That made me very, very happy. And it's like its own little, I don't know, it's nice. And it has a porch outside and a little kitchen. And then um, they have like a lot of nice things. So I'm gonna show you the property this morning and then I will link back up with my fiance, which is why we're here. Um, and we're gonna have our classes. I will not be filming during the classes, but I figured I would just um, keep up with you guys cause it's gonna be something I really wanna remember. And I know some people might be curious about what a marriage, Catholic marriage prep weekend's like. So I figured I'd document it and tell you my experience. But now let's do the room tour, my favorite thing to do. So I have a lot of my stuff in here already. This is the door behind me and I'm actually in the St. Catherine of Siena room, which makes me so happy. I love St. Catherine of Siena. Um, so the building is St. Gertrude and then each room has its own saint name. So this is the St. Catherine of Siena and I'll show you. They have all kinds of St. Catherine of Siena art, which I think is so cool. This is right when you walk in from the door and it's a little blurb about St. Catherine of Siena. St. Catherine of Siena was the 24th child of a prosperous Siena and wooden dryer. From childhood, she felt called to the life of dedication completely to spiritual pursuits. She became a habit Dominican tertiary when she was 16 years old and after three years of solitary prayer, took up a life of apostle work. She became renowned as a pre peacemaker and she traveled through Italy. Crowds came to meet with her and she changed the, their lives for the better. How cool! St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us. So then I have a little closet, which I really don't need. I don't have that much stuff here. Um, and then you walk in to the room. It's a nice size room. They have two beds. They gave me towels and sheets. I brought my own because I didn't think they were going to give that to us. But um, there's a desk. I have a lot of my own prayer books and like my Kindle, which I read on. But they do provide a holy Bible. So that's something to keep in mind. A lamp, which has been nice for at night. These two switches are for the, the fan. Look at how pretty the ceiling is. It, I'm gonna sit down so I can get a better angle. Look at how pretty the ceiling is. They have two really pretty wood beams and a fan and um, lights. So that's nice at night to have the fan. And then there's a full length mirror, a chair with all my stuff. <laughs> Um, a little table which I put like my medications on and then another lamp and a rocking chair which has been really nice I read last night in my rocking chair and I loved it and then another image of St. Catherine of Siena oh and I wanted to show off the floors too they're very nice they're like a tile wood um, and my favorite slippers also here and then um, you go into the bathroom And then the bathroom is towards the door. And it's just like a standard toilet, a nice size shower, which is all to me, which I really like. And then another image of St. Catherine of Siena and a little vanity area, which has been nice for me to do um, my skincare routine. I was gonna do makeup and then I thought I'm wearing a mask all day. Why? Why am I going to put makeup on my face? And I also kind of feel like my skin looks younger when I don't wear makeup as much. That's just a theory I have. And then this is just an idea of what to wear. You can wear anything you want. I'm wearing really comfy jeans and a tank top. I have a denim jacket to keep me warm, um, which is right here in case it gets cold. But last night it really didn't get cold, so I didn't need it and then just sneakers. This is not the most fashion forward outfit, but it's nice and comfy and casual and 
Now I'm going to head to meet my fiance, um, do some prayers, and then we're meeting for breakfast. Oh, I also wanted to mention, so each building has a screened-in porch with little Adirondack chairs, and then they have little lounge areas in the center of the building um, with a kitchen, so you can make your own food if you're not comfortable with the stuff they serve. So I did bring a few um, little my WW goodies that I like to use, like fat-free cheese and um, light butter and some gluten-free bagel thins because those kind of things I knew they weren't gonna have. Um, so I am gonna show you the kitchen and the living room if it's not occupied right now. If not, I'll show it to you later. Tall. Mr. Munoz, my fiance, my betrothed. How's it going? My twin sister gave me feedback on a recent video and said she likes when Matt has the camera. <laughs> she did, she said that. Why? I don't know. She said it just adds more perspective to the videos. Oh, okay. And she said you're funny. Oh, that's nice of her. Comment down below if you think he's funny. But you better love me more, okay? Because the channel's called Mary Scarpetti, not Mary and Matt. Well, Mary is prettier, so. Oh no, you're pretty. Mary's you're definitely pretty. hotter than me. You're pretty. No, you're hotter for sure, Matt. You're got that Latino I'm thing sorry. going for you. That tall, dark, handsome. Beautiful redheads. Vibe. Beautiful redheaded women always trump. Trump everybody. No, okay? no, no. Not the tall, dark, and handsome. No, no. There's tons of tall, dark, and handsome around. Well, how? <laughs> so, Maddie, how's your experience so far? He read today for morning prayer. It was really attractive to me. What were you saying? I was asking you to talk about your experience so far. We had one evening talk, and then we did morning prayer, and we had breakfast. Breakfast was good. I brought some gluten-free options and some fat-free cheese um, to make my food better, and it definitely helped this morning. But the food was good. Um, all together and the lady serving it was so sweet very true and the morning prayer was great my fiance led the reading yeah, sure did so what are your thoughts can you hold the camera it's a little heavy now I got it okay there you go I think that's a good way to hold it <laughs> hey oh, guys look at that long arm so nice <laughs> no, it's um, just a beautiful it's just a beautiful Saturday you know, yeah, we're, back we're just walking around the walking around the property here. We're at Cedar Break. Where are we at, babe? See, I told them Cedar Break, and I showed them my room. Very nice. Well, we'll uh, check in with you later today.
the day is almost over. We're doing some exploring before mass. Um, we got to have confession. We had a really long um, few talks. And then we had one on NFP, which was really interesting. Um, and I would say so far, my favorite part, other than getting to talk to my fiance, is, <laughs> really though, is um, we did Luxio Divina um, meditations and it was really nice and I really liked it. I will also, they've been asking us a lot of good question prompts that I think are good for um, newly engaged couples, but I think it's also really good for single people or dating people to um, ask questions of the people that they're dating to see if they're on the same page about things. Because obviously you don't want to get to the point where you're engaged and realize you're not compatible. <laughs> right? <laughs> Very true. Very Mr. well put. Mr. Tall, now it's really hard for me to get you in because I don't have my little, t I forgot, I have this like tripod thing that makes it easier for me to give length. I don't have actually that long of arms, but. Nailing it. We're trying. <laughs> So, did you have a part that you liked? Uh, I mean, some of the talks are pretty interesting, informative, you know. Just the grounds every, are really every, pretty too. Every moment with you has been my favorite part. Same. Okay, we're exploring. I'll show you what we find. because I never properly signed off on the weekend. I, Matt and I had such an awesome time, so I wanted to give you like a little breakdown of what the weekend was structurally because we kind of just went through our day, which is awesome, and I'm so glad I have all that, but I feel like for those of you watching, you might have more questions, and obviously you can put comments down below. I think I'm gonna make a longer video about all the things we had to do for marriage prep uh, for our Catholic wedding. We're very excited uh, to be getting married this spring, and because of the holiday season and the pandemic and the lack of like retreats and timings, we had to get everything done before Christmas time. So it has been a very crazy couple of weeks, but we did almost everything in a month and it's been really great and fruitful. And I'm really, this marriage prep was the thing I was the most excited about, obviously, aside from marrying Matt, because I just think that it's so cool to take time um, with your fiance to really just focus on your relationship. And that's the number one thing I loved about the retreat weekend was just focus time on our like a whole three days of focus time on our relationship it was like half day friday and then two a full day on saturday like really long day on saturday which is what i vlogged and then um sunday was another half day we loved the sunday speakers all the speakers were awesome the first night speaker i loved too i mean they were all great but the last uh people that presented was a married couple together. And they just really shared a lot of things that Matt and I enjoyed. And a lot of the topics we went over were communication, physical relate your physical relationship in marriage, different things that are unhealthy or against the Catholic Church's teaching on marriage and sexuality, theology of the body, finances, talking over finances, um, not really getting into financial planning that much, but just giving like conversations and how you're gonna plan and a little worksheet on different percentages that you should be spending on each big ticket item and just talked about budgeting. We got a lot of resource books, a lot of really good questions, which I mentioned in the vlog. So I'm gonna put as many questions as I wrote down in the description box below because I really think that is so important. And what was nice was Matt and I, like nothing was a big surprise to us about each other. Like there was no shocking revelation, which is a good thing. I don't wanna be super surprised 
about my significant other when it comes to the fact that we're already well into our wedding planning. I want to I want to know those things in advance. So there was no surprises there and that's why I really think like I can't imagine maybe realizing something about Matt that I didn't know on our marriage prep weekend that is a negative or like a deal breaker and I just think couples, Matt and I did a lot of different things to prepare for marriage before we got engaged. And maybe I'll make a whole video on that. But I'm going to also list some of the resources down below as well as the questions. Because I think it's really important while you're dating, before you're engaged, to really be preparing yourselves to make sure you're making a good choice on a partner. I'm so, so grateful God gave me an amazing fiance and future husband and i am really excited uh to marry him and all this marriage prep has just made it feel so much more real so yeah if you have any more questions put it in the comments below and maybe matt and i'll make like a marriage prep q a if you like this video give it a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel because i make videos every week on the catholic faith i've been doing a lot of wedding planning and marriage prep stuff I've also, I also do a lot of lifestyle videos, everyday vlogs. I live the Catholic faith the best way I can. And so that's always incorporated in my daily life. And if you want to see more content like that, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.